investigate with our bubble mix. So you can use a pipe cleaner or even a cookie cutter to make different shaped bubble wands. Now bubbles are made up of three things, soap, water, and a gas. Usually we use air. When a bubble wand is dipped into a bubble soap mixture, the mixture stretches all the way over the wand to form this thin film. This film is like a sandwich, yummy, with soap molecules on the outside surrounding a thin layer of water in the middle. This soap and water film is about to trap air inside when we blow it. Now a bubble wand helps a soapy liquid film to stretch out around the air being blown into the bubble. But no matter what shape your bubble wand is, whether it's a square or a triangle or even a star, the bubbles will always want to be a sphere. Now a sphere is a round shape, a three-dimensional round shape, a bit like a ball. And this is because of a force called surface tension. And that pulls the water molecules together into the shape with the least amount of surface area. A sphere. This is the shape-shifting power of bubbles. Now let's investigate some bubble power. Use a pipe cleaner to make whatever you like, a square, a triangle, or even a heart-shaped wand. You could also use a different shape cookie cutter if you don't have one. I'm gonna make a heart shape. And what do you think the shape of the bubble's gonna be? Well, let's have a look. It's gonna be a sphere. There you go, no matter what the shape of your wand, it's always gonna be a sphere. Now, the other thing you can do is you can transform your big bubble wand into a mega bubble wand by tying little loops into your wand. So let's see what happens if we do that. Now I've got three bubbles here. Let's see. So many bubbles! Smaller bubbles are usually more stable than larger ones. So if it's super windy outside, this is a great option to help you bake your bubbles. Not as big, but definitely more stable. And finally, who wants to hold a bubble? So bubbles pop when the water in the film dries up. Your hands are usually really dry compared to a bubble, so they tend to pop when you touch them. To stop this from happening, here's my top secret. Wet the palm of your hand with the bubble mixture first, then blow a bubble and catch it with your wet hand. And that is how you hold a bubble without it bursting.